Hello, this is Case with another really cool optimization. This time it's about memory allocation and uh, alignment actually. So on the N64 you have eight memory banks. Every one megabyte here is a separate unit and accessing different ones in parallel can improve memory speed. The way WiseGuy explained this back then was that before you can use a memory segment you need to electrically charge it uh, it is called pre-charge or activa activation and um, by accessing two different memory segments in parallel we can charge and read from two in parallel meaning we get a few more hardware components working at the same time by splitting stuff up into stuff that the RDP uses and stuff that the CPU uses in memory segments so what we do is um we have the z buffer in the first segment so the zero segment we have the first frame buffer or frame buffer zero in the fourth segment we have frame buffer one in the sixth segment here and frame buffer two is exactly at eight zero seven zero 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 so right in the middle between these two numbers and it's in a seventh segment this way while the rdp is doing one thing the cpu segment can already prepare for another thing um, this saved in total around 400 microseconds over having all the frame buffers in one segment here but this brought the additional difficulty that now our memory is fragmented and we have more difficulty allocating more memory but this is where the great part comes actually first of all let me show let me show you the scene right it's 45 fps now before this it was between like 43 and 44 uh, so that's that's a pretty good saving let me just get the counters up here it was at uh the clock was at 23.7 before now we had 23 okay well there's also another optimization here actually it was at 24.1 even um but yeah the other optimization maybe i explain it tomorrow so this is very very good like this a lot but there's more to this and that is um the new allocation we had to do so i wrote my my new case pool that's i don't know how to call it my case pool instead of um one pool it has three regions that's right we gather up all the empty memory regions um so first of all the pool was just in this region before so we still have the area after the first frame buffer until the area before the first frame buffer as uh, the main region we call this the left pool and then we have the area after the second frame buffer to the end of memory as the right side pool before this was one pool and then additionally on top of that we have an emergency memory pool and that is an area that was entirely empty before this so this is an additional almost a full megabyte that went unused before the reason it went unused was because we had no way to support this for memory allocation before and um, there was nothing we could fit in there well actually we could have fit a frame buffer in there but then the frame buffer and the cpu would be using the same segment over and over and that would be really bad so with this case pool we can um, allocate all this at the same time and we get a lot more memory in this example here this level here we have around 1.2 megabytes of memory that we can just use for whatever we want before that we had around 0 0.3 megabytes of memory so we almost got a full megabyte of memory more meaning the levels can have more details the game runs faster and um uh, it's a little more versatile in what we can do with it. Awesome. I hope uh, to see you in the next video. Blah, 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 YouTube outro. I just have to talk a little bit so that when the end cut shows up, it doesn't go over anything important. Goodbye.